Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. So this morning, I'm going to harvest some of these beans. Um, I cooked some jambalaya. This is going to be my vegetables for that meal. But uh, I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning. <laughs> and it looks like our world is going to have an eventful Tuesday morning. Mm. Which, well, you will find me right here, baby, getting my food together. Uh, that, that's, that's where you're going to find me, right here. <laughs> In this video, I will be sharing with you uh, what, what I do to uh, get rid of the thrifts from my garden. And as the title says, <sighs> making a way out of no way, you know. When one thing won't work, baby, go to plan B. Plan B. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in the live tonight. Remember, the live starts at 5 p.m. tonight because turf is going to be here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, family. Let's go. Ben is here. Hey, Ben. <laughs> and uh, everything is looking great. Everything is doing good. But we are going to, I'm just going to share with you all some of the things that I'm doing in my garden this morning. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. Here we go. For the bees. So this is a plant that my son purchased. It is Italian oregano. This is what he wanted me to grow and he asked me to grow it for him. Hello everyone, this is Tita and today, <laughs> today I will be filling up some hummingbird feeders. So I have, have my hummingbird feeder filter. You just getting home from, from school, Jada? How was it? Good, kind of boring, kind of tired, but good. Yeah. And um, we have some. <laughs> we have some uh, water, and it has some hummingbird nectar. Which is just sugar. A lot of it too, y'all. Just sugar. That's all it is. Just sugar, right? I think you better put it down because it's, if it wastes on you, you're going to be sticky, a sticky little mess. Yep. <laughs> there and you go. also, spring has just started with you and I already know. So this is the perfect time. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I got this filter. Yeah. Oh, that's good. All right. All right, so... You just have to make sure it's tight. All right, turn it, turn it upside down. Perfect, Jada, you did that. So now we just have two more to go. These are all of the chives that I cut from my plants. And now I'm going to put them in a plastic bag and I'm going to put them in my garbage. Yo. Yeah. But that's the way it goes. So we're going to get rid of these. But anyway, guys, um, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just going through the motions, that's all, that's all. But I'm getting it together, yeah. But let me share something with you all in my garden this morning. All right, guys, so I'm so sorry about my shadow. I'm sorry about my shadow, but check out these beans. You all see these beans in here? 
Ooh, okay, let me share them in my hand. Oh, not this one. That's a Moringa. These beans, they're really big, big beans, y'all. Big beans. So what kind of beans are they? They are fava beans. Uh, so many people call them favas or broad beans, right? But they are fava beans. I love fava beans. They are big and meaty beans. They're delicious, right? Many people do, uh, you know, you can cook them like regular beans. Of course, they make hummus also with fava beans, just as well as chickpeas. You know, they make hummus. But they are so delicious. <laughs> but you all know, <laughs> I like eating them right off the plant. They're so good. So, that's what we're doing, y'all. I'm dropping some fava beans right in this container. They grow really tall, really beautiful, black and white flowers, and then they grow the biggest beans you ever see, right? So if you never try fava beans, okay, hang in there with me, all right? I'm gonna share what they look like, and I'm gonna describe to you exactly what I'm tasting. All right, all right guys. So this is where I have a lot of flowers. This is Sylvia right there, but look, look how gorgeous she is. Yeah, she just kind of came on up there. She is really beautiful. So all of those beautiful wide leaves you see, that's her, y'all, that's her. But we have much, much more. So here we have roses, red roses, and they are blooming beautifully. Of course we have these roses, these roses in the garden, right? Along with Cosmos, Cosmos. <laughs> There's so many um, <laughs> bees all around these Cosmos. They are, maybe because, um, this, uh, the cosmos are the first flowers to bloom in my garden this year. And now I do have some marigolds over there. Not marigolds, zenas and morning glories. But they have been just crazy about these cosmos. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, they've been really crazy about these cosmos. So I'm glad they're here. They just receded themselves. Yeah. Look at this fat boy. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> so this is a, one of my uh, leeks that went to seed. And here are the seeds. I just put it in this bag. And let's see if I can turn it over so you can see it. There they are. You see all the seeds of the leek. And there's a lot of them already in the bag. But that's them, leeks. I'm gonna put them in a paper bag, but this is the only bag I had out here, so. I use what I had, baby. <laughs> Let me get this stuff out of here, y'all. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting out here with alcohol dishwashing liquid in two of my sprayers yeah and both of them are not working <laughs> I've I've had them uh, for a long time I haven't used them in a while but one of them this is broken the other one oh it's just something else both of them I'm putting them both in the garbage yeah <laughs> but I do have this one and it seems to be working great I have the little pump here I found it in <laughs> in my little greenhouse so I'm going to just fill it up each time with this and this is this is that uh, alcohol and soap I put in there and I'm going to spray my um my onions this morning yeah so here we go 